So this will be part 4 of our Fleet MS version 3 uh, tutorial and today we are going to still be working on Node.js application and we are going to be creating database migration. Now there is a whole lot about data, uh, database migration you need to know so you can read from my website. I've already written a blog, um, a step-by-step -step on it so you can see right here it says generate um, PostgreSQL database from Node.js so you can have everything here. But this class is about Fleet MS version 3. It's not about, uh, it's, it's not a complete tutorial on migration. So today we are simply going to be doing basic migration on how to just create migration. This is, is a way to add, uh, run some scripts that's going to perform some operation in your database. Mainly, it's going to be to initialize your database and load some initial data into your database. So let's go to follow the steps right, uh, here right now. So the first step, again, if you are joining me for the first time, if this is your first time visiting my channel, please remember to subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment, uh, sub, um, support me by buying me a coffee or maybe like and share this video. The more we get our persons to learn, the better for me because in that way I get some motivation to continue, make, continue making these lessons for you. All right, so migration simply, as I mentioned, is gonna help you to run some operations in your database from Node.js and mainly to initialize your database and load some initial uh, data. So the, the first step we need to take here is to declare my console. So I'm going to say npm install install db migrate and pm install globally minus g db migrate. Okay. And after that, we are now going to install uh, db migrate pg. Uh, let's say, okay, so I'm going to use sudo because I'm doing it globally, so I need to uh, use sudo. Um, all right, so this time it works. So I'm going to do, uh, do it for the second one db migrate uh, pg. So in this tutorial, we are going to be we are going to be writing a script to load some initial data into our database. So step two, we need to uh, give PostgreSQL, give Node.js connection parameters to our database. And to do that, I'm simply going to right click here and create a new file called um, uh, database.json. So I'm going to create a new file called database.json so this is a file that uh, this will be text file uh, okay so this is the content of this file so it contains the connection parameters to your database so I'm going to simply copy this into the database.json file so I'm going to just uh, database migration db so this migration db now uh, that is not the name of our database. We want the script, the migration script, to run against the fleet DB. So I'm going to just change this to fleet DB. Uh, driver PG, user Postgres, password, local host. Um, yeah, so everything is going to be all uh, the way it is because that is the parameter we did set. So I'm going to save everything. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is to run the uh, run the db migrate command. Uh, so now run the command db migrate initialize. If the command runs successfully, you will notice that a migration folder is created, and this folder contains a subfolder named SQL, which contains two files ending in initialize up and initialize down. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you what's happened here. So once you once you uh, run this command db migrate uh, initialize db migrate db migrate creates you are creating a migration called initialize and specify SQL file. So it's going to give you SQL file where you are going to write the code that you want to execute. And this code may be a create table, maybe in the insert table, maybe drop table, or something like that. So I'm going to run, I'm going to create a migration. So I'm going to say db migrate, uh, db migrate, create, initialize. Uh, so instead of calling it initialize, I'm going to call it uh, load country.
because I want this database to load the country uh, table with data. I'm going to say SQL file. Okay. Uh, let me see. Could not see. Ah, oh, so actually this should be. You see, I got the name of this file wrong. So it's going to be database uh, dot JSON. So it's going to be dot JSON. Get a file. Okay. So this is what we, we should be. All right. So I'm going to run the migration one more time. Now it created migration for us. How do I know? So if I come here, you can see migrations here. Okay, so in migrations, we have a number of things. We have this here. We have, uh, Charlie, you don't have to worry about this. So what we want to check is if you look at the, uh, you can see load country up, down, uh, my load country down and up. So, the op migration is to create the to execute the script and create this object in your database or in load some object. The down migration is to undo what has been done. So let's focus on the op, uh, the op. Okay. So here it says that replace with your SQL command. So we're going to now put SQL commands here that's going to uh, load some data into the database. So we want to write and start statement here. So insert some data into the country table. And the easiest way to write an insert statement is to simply generate it. Uh, tell PG to generate the insert statement and then you want to now insert, uh, plug in the data you want to use. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to country table. If I go to country table and say uh, view all rows, you see that it's empty, I believe, right here. So I'm going to simply right click and say, um, Say create, not create, it should be scripts, insert scripts. So choose insert scripts. So here in insert script, you want to now specify the values here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to be ID of one, the capital. So let me start with Nigeria. And the next one is the continent, is Africa. And followed by the description. Uh, actually, the next one is the code. So it's going to be code. And followed by continent, then followed by description. And followed by nationality. Okay, so this is fine. So this one is such that I'm going to simply copy it across and co copy it across. Uh, so let's see, so here, and paste, paste. Okay, so I have four insert statements, so I'm going to say this one is going to be two, and this ID is going to be three, and this is going to be four. So the second one is going to be India, because I have many friends in India. Uh, United States, because I also have friends there. And also, I also have to put Hungary because I currently do my research program in Hungary. So I'm going to say Hungary, um, it's going to be Budapest, and United States, Washington, DC, uh, this one should be India, uh, New Delhi. Okay. So you can now understand what's happening. So you can actually make it up, to clean it up and add the right kind of data. So this the insert statement uh, that we want to execute when the application starts up. So I'm going to go to copy the scripts and go to node.js and simply place it here. Okay. So we have the scripts placed here right now. And so I'm going to save it, these are migration, so that when the application starts up, this initial script is going to load up. Or you can actually run the migration manually using the run migration, using the, the command. So, uh, so this is what I did just now, and we have this and so on. Okay, so now uh, in the other migrate, in the other scripts like this down, you can add a statement to actually 
um, drop this table. But for now, let's simply focus on just creating the, the object. Okay, so to now run this migration to load this data, I then simply say db migrate up and specify the name of the migration. And if you remember, the name of the migration is load country. So if I run the command, so I'm going to just run the command, uh, let's see, db migrate load country, right? db migrate load country. So hopefully it's going to run the migration and insert all this data into the country uh, table. So I'm going to hit the enter key. Okay, so I actually need to say db migrate op. Uh, so db migrate op, yeah. Op, yeah, load country and enter. Okay, so you can see that it processed the SQL segment and it says done. So how do we know it worked? Uh, one way is to simply go to PG admin and if I go to country stable now and maybe first I'm gonna refresh, refresh. And if I go to the country table, right click and say um, view edit and select all rows, you can see that we have the data now inside the country's uh, table. So actually in the production application, you have to write um, seeding migration to actually load up. If you want some initial data in your, in your tables, you can write load country, load state, load users to just load up some initial data that is needed. Again, if I go back to my PostgreSQL and I go to, I should be able to assess this data from here. So if I come here and refresh these and also refresh my tables, uh, you can see now that we should have, uh, let's see, um, so country, so if I select, so by double clicking on it, it should load up the data. You can see the data we added right here. So this is how to add migrations. Uh, this is basic migrations. So later on, we are going to be talking about it a little more later. As I mentioned, we are also going to be talking about ORM in Node.js, but that will be a little later. I want to keep things streamlined so that we don't uh, sidetrack to other things that may not be very important at this time. All right, so we are going to be moving to the next part. I would like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, buy me a coffee, or leave me a comment if you have any challenges following FleetMS version 3, because this is actually the big one. I want, to learn, I want you to learn complete full stack development, everything you need to need, uh, you need to know about building applications. That's what I'm doing right now. So I remain kind on the Tech Pro. We'll see you in the next part, and I'm always there for you.